Hey friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And today I'm excited. We're doing another David Builds It. And today we're building this. That's right, a low profile, a low resolution LED wall for your stage. And so this is a really cool build because I think this is something that we see a lot out there in the world. If you look at TV shows or concerts or anything else, uh, a lot of people are experimenting with and working with lower resolution LED walls like this, where, you know, it's not meant to show a video where you can tell exactly what the image is. It's not meant to scroll text, but rather to be something that we work with in a lighting to be able to bring textures and color and movement on and incorporate with our larger show. And it's never been easier to work with this stuff. And so I want to show you how I built this really cool thing, some options about what you can do and uh, give you the tools and the links below as well to, to go build something like this yourself, because I think it's, it's really a bit of a game changer. So when it comes down to it, uh, it, when people go to make things out of DIY LEDs, and I want to talk a little bit more about that in today's video too, uh, they typically go and they go on Amazon or somewhere else and they buy some LED tape like this comes on a spool like this and you you know spend your days cutting and hearing and soldering that tape uh, to aluminum strips or some wood or stapling it down whatever um, I've always kind of had a frustration in my head with LED tape because for anything that's not permanent it's kind of a pain in the butt to work with at least I think so um, you know, all that soldering and the, the points are really close together. I mean, I'm not, you know, a novice solder. I'm not the world's best. I'm somewhere in the middle. And, you know, I thought to myself, well, there's got to be a better way. And so then a few years ago, I discovered uh, Christmas light pixels uh, like these. Okay. Or the square version. And Christmas light pixels are like LED tape, but supercharged. Why? They're brighter. They're more durable. They're easier to reconfigure. And the last point, you could even probably do a project with them without having to solder. Have I caught your attention yet? Um, so Christmas light pixels, which is what I built this out of. Uh, let's talk about the build first, actually. So all that it takes to build this stuff is um, I went ahead and what I've got these mounted on are actually a plastic material. Let me grab a sample. And so there's a company that builds this stuff for the Christmas light world. They call themselves Boscoyo Studios. You can see it here. And they're at boscoyostudio.com. And they make these various plastic or, cor or corrugated uh, plastic, uh, basically, mounts where you can put pixels into them. And so it's really just as simple as, you know, taking these guys in order, of course, putting them in, and giving them a push. Uh, there's some tools that the hobby has, uh, the Christmas lighting hobby has to make this easier too. And then you just take your bus coil strips like that. These are four wide ones and you can hang them. They also have, if you go to their website and you go to uh, pixel RGB mounting strips and rolls, I think that's the one. Um, maybe not. If you just search in the top, honestly, matrix. And if you type it right, unlike me. Then you see a variety of options. So they have really big matrix panels. They have these ones, the modular matrix that I've got behind me, which are eight feet tall and then um, four pixels wide. And they're at about two inches. And I think they look really great. And uh, they, have a, they have a bunch of stuff, a lot of stuff that's Christmas themed. Um, so you take that from Boscoyo Studios and you grab some Christmas light pixels. I've bought from a bunch of places for the past um, RGB man is a cool place where you can get these and you can get a string of pixels. Um, they're 22 cents per pixel right now. Um, which is, you know, you think about the cost of something like this. It's like, Oh, that's really not that expensive. And then you got to get yourself a pixel controller. And, um, in the Christmas light world, they have this brand Falcon, which if you're not being rough on your stuff, you can make these things work for, for stage use as well as I have behind me here. Um, so Putting together something like this, a project, like I mentioned, is as simple as first, you know, grabbing your Boscoyo Studios or whatever you get, you know, drilling corrugated plastic or, you know, something more permanent, pushing the pixels through it, uh, hooking up the connectors, 
and uh, your pixels are going to have connectors on the end of them here. That's a locking waterproof type connector. And, uh, you know, hooking those up to your controller and then firing them from a lighting console. And so then control wise, what I did for this particular setup is I built it in Onyx and I'm controlling it with Onyx. Now, with a grid of LEDs like this, I could use Onyx, I could use Entex LED Mapper. Um, both are great options. If you're already an Onyx user, then I would go ahead, you know, I would use Onyx to generate all of your content, okay? I would totally use Onyx because there's so much good stuff in there, so much cool stuff that you can do, and it's just amazing how you can do that already in your existing workflow. If you're not already an Onyx user, um, and you're like, not sure about that, or I just want to do LEDs or whatnot, um, take a really good look at Entex Elm software. I'll have a link here as well for that. Uh, because it's a really great software for LED projects like this. It allows you to really quickly build stuff out. There's a lot of pre-built effects in Elm, and you can really get going and create some impressive stuff really quickly. So this is where I want to kind of, you know, build some ideas in your head and make, make your brain spin. Um, because for, I think, all of these build it, you know, custom set designs that I've done, and you can check out um, the playlist here, uh, for all of these, they've all really um, been focused around working with custom LEDs. Um, and I think I've mentioned before about using these Christmas light LEDs, but I want to really mention them here because they're really easy to work with compared to LED tapes or strips, and they're really not expensive, uh, especially when you consider, you know, take an LED tape, right? You can apply this, take off the 3M backing and stick it to something. And it's kind of good for one use. You know, if you're careful, you can peel it up, maybe cut it again, reconfigure it. But it's kind of a pain in the butt. With Christmas light pixels, because these guys are actually wired together with wire, uh, they're really easy to cut and splice and rearrange. You can even do it without soldering uh, if you use something called a 3M scotch lock, okay? Um, so my point here, guys, is, um, you know, basically just to inspire you. Um, I know I've got more videos here on the channel about, you know, doing custom LED projects, and we've got a whole action plan inside Learn Stage Lighting Labs as well uh, called Custom LED Design. Um, but I, I really kind of want to leave you today just with an inspiration of to think about, okay, what would something like this look like on my stage? You know, how could I build in? some custom LEDs to my stage um, because they don't have to be in straight lines like this. You could do straight lines, zigzags, you know, build them into anything that you're doing on your stage. Um, if you're a church, you've got a lobby, you know, anything. Um, and I think you could do some really cool stuff with this. So that's kind of my, my inspiration point for today um, because if you've looked out on major shows, major networks, then you've seen stuff like this. And, um, you know, though LED walls themselves are cool and also very expensive and heavy, um, something like this could be small, portable, rearrangeable, uh, something you could use time and time again, something that you could arrange on the outside of your screen, and then maybe you put them below a video screen. Um, maybe you put them in place of a video screen uh, in a future, you know, in a, a different look, right? Uh, you can line trusses with these things. Uh, you can put them underneath risers horizontally. That's actually a really cool look as well. Um, and so I just want to get you inspired really with this video, get you thinking about how to work with, with something that's a little bit out of the box today. So if you enjoyed this, if you want more, let me know, guys. Um, I can talk about this stuff more if you guys are interested. If not, um, you know, I don't know, uh, subscribe anyways. But seriously, uh, you know, I love LED products. They're a lot of fun. And especially if you're not tearing it down every day, it's really easy to make something, uh, you know, in a church setting or in a venue that is completely custom, but also not like priced expensively through the roof. So if you like what we've done here, uh, again, let me know below and uh, I will see you guys on our next video. And if you're new to lighting, of course, be sure to check out learnstagelighting.com. I've got a free guide I want to throw in your inbox to help you get started. And if you're interested in doing more with custom LEDs 
check out the rest of the videos in this playlist and also learn at Stage Lighting Labs. Link below for everything. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.